Heyo! What's up, fans? Masa here for another interesting story. I got a means from one of my viewers, and here I am to investigate. Hello, Masa. I am a huge fan. I'm in the tennis club at school, and we're playing this stripping game. My opponent is this real dorky guy in the club. I plan to use my two, how should I put this, balloons to really blow his mind. My hobby, or more like my job recently, is to get interesting stories and upload them on social media. I got a whole bunch of followers. Wow, tennis using your two, uh, strong points to win. Oh, that's awesome. Apparently, it's a talent she has. Can she really use them to her advantage? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> My name's Atsuya Akita. I'm a first year student here at Manihari High School. Isn't that the same racket that Manovic was using during the tournament last week? Well, actually, someone gave that to me. I was sort of amused that they were all praising my racket. Just as I was showing everyone my racket, this girl approached us and said, That's an impressive racket for a first-year dorky member to have, don't you think? Bet you, bet you, you can, bet you or you can only catch real slow serve shots. Poor racket, I feel sorry for it. It should have a way better owner. That's Mizuki. She's a classmate of mine. A bit stuck up for sure. She started swinging my racket and testing it out. Oh, uh, uh, hey, Mizuki, do you mind not doing that? I had just finished my last class, and I was on my way to practice when... What the hell? My racket! It's gone! The tennis bag that I always use was empty. Oh, Christ, what am I gonna do? That racket means the world to me! I hurriedly made my way to the club locker room. My club members helped me look for it, but the thing didn't turn up anywhere. Hey, everyone! How's it going? What are you all doing? Looking for something? You remember that racket Atsuya had? It's gone! We can't find it anywhere! Oh, yeah? That racket wasn't suited for you anyways. I bet that racket got fed up and went looking for a better owner. That's probably it. <laughs> the way she snickered and laughed it off, at that instance, I knew it was Mizuki that stole the racket. But I had no proof. But then again, I couldn't just let this go. That racket isn't any old racket. It's... The Junior High World Tennis Championship. This year's second place winner is Atsuya Congratulations on your well-deserved win. <laughs> I almost had it. I almost won first place. I caught your match earlier. It was quite impressive, Atsuya. Great match. I know how you feel. Probably frustrated as hell you couldn't land first place, but... Don't worry about it. You'll get to world-class level someday. I'm sure of it. All you have to do now is practice like hell. Up your skill, Atsuya. I want you to have this, Atsuya. This is the racket you've been using. I couldn't take this, sir. Tell you what. You work and reach the world-class level. Then, if you win against me, I want it back. How's that? Deal? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So this is the famed Monovic racket, huh? Wonder how much this thing would fetch. Uh, are you serious, miss? This is an authentic Monovic racket. You sure about this? Yeah, sure thing. This is not that valuable. It's just a tennis racket. Okay, then how's $30,000? What do you say, miss? $30,000? Seriously? Man, I really hit the jackpot. Thanks for doing business with us. Uh, please come again. You betcha. See you later. Gonna go on Masa's program. Gotta get me some nice clothes and get my hair done. Can't forget makeup. <laughs> this is gonna be great. With this much money, I could do a complete makeover. The next day, I decided to confront Mizuki in order to get my precious racket back. I really need that racket back, Mizuki. I don't have proof, but I know you took it. Huh? What are you talking about? The other club members told me you were snooping around my locker a few days ago. Even peeked inside my tennis bag a couple of times. Please, I need it back. That thing means a lot to me. You give it back, and we can forget the whole thing even happened, okay? I guess you knew, huh? As did everyone else, I suppose. Oh well. I was surprised Mizuki admitted that she did it so easily. But that wasn't the end of it. But like I said before, the racket is way too nice for a dorky guy like you. If you really want to get it back, you have to play a match with me, and then if you win, then I may think about it. Then she picked up her phone and showed me something on it. That's Masa, the famous money tuber. 
I'm sure that you've heard of him. He's coming to school next week to cover the tennis tournament. You come on that day, have a match with me, and you win. Well, then I give you back the racket. What do you say? Or are you the dorky chicken that you are? <laughs> okay, but I win, and you really better give me that racket back. Yeah, that's what I said. But I sold that racket. It's a long gone, buddy. No problem there. I will definitely win against this nerd anyway. Hey, everyone. Welcome to my show. Today, we're here with Mizuki. She's the one that wrote me about this upcoming tennis match. Hello, folks. Mizuki here. This is a dream come true. I always wanted to come on Masa's program. Thanks for having me. I'll do my best to make this match a wonderful experience for all the fans out there. Hope you're all rooting for me. <laughs> With this show, I will definitely become ultra popular. A whole slew of talent agents will be lining up outside my door for sure. When I arrived at the courts, there was a large crowd gathered to witness this highly anticipated tennis match. Wow, would you look at the crowd? Hey, you fans out there, oh, bet you wish you were here. The air is electric, folks. The match is about to begin. We have Mizuki here, who says she can beat her opponent with her... Oh, gotta choose my words carefully here. Uh, with her hooters. And now, let's get on with a strip tennis match with the school's top tennis players. Oh, wait, did he just say strip tennis match? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. That's just for fun. We're still gonna play tennis, so what's the problem? Okay, then let's get going. What do you say? Yes, Mizuki sure is getting in the groove. <laughs> she put her racket right between her... <laughs> you know what, folks? I can take your serve so easy, just with my chest. Boy, she sure is confident I'm gonna lose. Okay, Mizuki, here goes. Anytime you're ready. Atsuya's serve was powerful as the ball went straight toward Mizuki. Whoa, she actually hit the ball back. Mizuki gripped the racket between her chest and swung the racket, hitting the ball back towards Atsuya. The first point goes to Mizuki. An awesome shot. Wow, that was pretty impressive, Mizuki. See what I mean? Your serve is nothing, Atsuya. Too darn weak. I can take your serve just with my trusty hooters. <laughs> Guess that precious racket of yours is gone for good. Tell you what. I'll return your serve just with my knockers. No racket, how's that? With that, the overconfident Mizuki tossed her racket aside and stood there, her chest ready for the serve that was to come. All right then, take that! Ha! <laughs> Not so fast, kid. Easy as pie. Mizuki was able to return Atsuya's serve using just her well-endowed bosoms. Oh, wow. She was able to return that serve with that buxom figure. Hmm, apparently there is only a 0.01% chance that someone can use their breasts to return such a serve. Well, this is too easy. <laughs> Nobody in the crowd was expecting this, but Mizuki managed to get in some pretty well-rounded shots. She's actually playing the game with a guy using only her boobs. Uh, is this even allowed? Actually, according to the official tennis rules, using body parts is strictly prohibited. You can't catch the ball and throw it back, for example. This is really awesome, but very weird. Oh, there are many things in the world that we all don't know about. Right, folks? Game! Nishioka! That was super easy. As I mentioned earlier, using any part of the body is strictly prohibited. But special rules were set for this particular game. And so Mizuki won the first game. Okay, so you lost the first set. What's it gonna be? The top or the bottom? Yeah, yeah, I know. I was so focused in trying to come to grips with the fact that she was actually playing with her... Anyways, I forgot about all this strip thing. Atsuya took his top jacket off as penalty and left it on the bench. Okay, folks, this is getting interesting. Who takes off what next? Can Mizuki continue her winning streak with her curve some shots? <laughs> I was sure a dorky guy like you would be able to win against me. Get ready to get clobbered by my well-endowed bosom buddies. Yeah, right. Whatever. My precious racket is on the line here. I can't just let this stand. Sorry, but now I'm gonna have to give it my all. Are you ready for some well-formed serves? The mood around the court suddenly changed. It was then that... Not really expecting much of a serve from you. Even if I can't hit the serve, I can still win. Come on, let me see what you got. Okay, if you insist. Uh, take that! 
Huh? What? The ball flew towards Misaki with breakneck speed and embedded itself in the fence behind her before she could even react. Oh, sorry about that. Little too fast for you? Holy crap! What the hell was that? Okay, here goes the next shot. You ready? How about this one? Can your ample figure take this? Huh? Oh, what the? Mizuki tried to stop the ball with her voluptuous chest, but it was way too fast. It smacked into them and ricocheted into her face. What's going on here? Why can't my bosom buddies return that ball? They've never let me down before. How is he able to manage such powerful serve shots? Huh, why you ask? Well, that's because I've been controlling my shots and how I play for a long time. I never go all out unless I have to. I was just testing you through the first set. I had you figured out, Mizuki. How you hit with those... things. The height, the distance, everything. Now I know. Did you really think you could challenge me using your... ample proportions? Well, now that's what I call entertainment! Who would have expected this? We all thought Atsuya was some dorky first year team player, but turns out he's one cool dude! Huh, you mean Atsuya had us all figured out from the get go? But it seemed Mizuki was more confident in herself than I realized. Uh, yeah? Why didn't you say so before? I could have changed my tactics. Now that I know, well, I'll play you as I would anybody else, with my racket. She picked up her racket from the bench and continued with the game. Okay, no handicaps anymore. We'll go all out. Ready? This set. I serve. Can you take it? Okay, ready when you are. Ugh! Mizuki slammed the ball towards me with all her might. But I was able to return that serve with lightning speed. What the hell was that? I didn't even see it go for God's sake! Mizuki seemed frozen in place as she stood there dumbstruck. Game! Akita! Ah, what was the rule when you lose? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll write already. This is nothing. I was getting hot anyways. Oh no, not this. I can't upload this kind of stuff to my site. But they weren't concerned about my predicament. They were forced on challenging each other. Game! Akita! No way! He did it again! Darn it! I bet you had this all worked out from the very beginning, right? No, not really. I was just gonna play to get my racket back is all. Actually, I would rather just stop this charade. Let's just stop this crap. What's the use of continuing? You'll only embarrass yourself. Hey, Atsuya. Do you really think you should be playing against an amateur like her? Uh, what are you doing here, coach? Who the hell are you? Me? I'm Atsuya's personal coach. His personal coach? What's this guy talking about? I looked around the crowd and everyone was staring at me. It was then that I decided to reveal my true identity. When I was in junior high, I participated in various international events. I won countless matches and left behind some pretty impressive results during that time. I got a lot of offers from all kinds of international clubs, but... Oh crap, I think I'm lost. I suppose I better just backtrack the way I came. Hey kid, what the hell are you wandering around in our territory? Uh, uh, I was only, uh, I, I'm kind of lost, so uh, I'll be on my way, guys. Sorry. I was in that foreign city all alone. That incident scared me half to death. To be honest, I was traumatized by it. And so I came back to Japan and decided to lay low and not demonstrate my talent for tennis. But I wanted to keep playing tennis, so I figured I would join the school's tennis club, but never allowed myself to go all out. I held back on all my plays. But I had to play all out sometimes, so I would go to the coach's place and practice with him. Uh, are you serious? Mizuki seemed visibly shaken by my admission. She started to tremble. Now, will you give me back my racket? Uh, I'm so sorry, Atsuya. I really am. That racket! I sold it to that pawn shop downtown! Are you serious? No way! I told you that was precious to me! I need you to go back there and buy it back! Right this minute! But how am I supposed to do that? I already sold it in. But then, a little later... Mom, Dad, please lend me $30,000! I beg of you! She went back to the pawn shop with her folks, and was eventually able to convince the owner to return the racket at the same price she paid for it. The money that Mizuki got for the racket was long gone. She now had to pay her folks back. Oh god, I have to work my butt off for at least a year, maybe two to pay this all back. Maybe they'll give me a break. Mizuki quit the tennis team, and all she has time for now is to work to pay back her parents. And as for me, 
So, you're finally back at playing in international events, I see. I hadn't seen you around, so I was getting a bit worried that you gave up on tennis. Yeah, well, what can I say? But I had this racket the whole time, and that gave me hope to continue. I'm hoping to keep practicing so I can give this back to its rightful owner someday. Oh yeah, you sound pretty confident, Atsuya. I'm looking forward to it, man. Oh, this footage, not really what I expected, but I suppose I could use it to highlight the greatness of Atsuya. That would probably work. I mean, think about it. He's sure to be a superstar one of these days. People will be clamoring for this footage someday. Yeah, these trip games can be kind of fun, but don't go too far with it, okay? That was fun, huh? Don't forget to like and subscribe, everyone. See you in the next one. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!